So a common problem that a lot of trainers out there have when they're looking to run soccer skills clinics is they don't know what to offer parents. So in today's video, I'm going to be touching on the different skills clinics that you could offer, how to structure them, how to run them, how to charge for them, and essentially how to create them as an extra service into your current training business. Welcome back to the channel coach. So today I'm going to share with you five different soccer skills clinics that you can offer with your soccer training business. So every single day I get a lot of questions from coaches who want to run a skills clinics throughout the month, but a lot of them don't know what to do. They don't know what to offer. They don't know how to structure it. Um, and they don't know how to offer it as an extra service, essentially, to uh, their, their clients. So today, I want to share with you five things, some of these things that I have done with my training business, but also others are what I'm seeing is trending at the moment in the market, and others are essentially what the coaches that I work with are currently offering. Okay, so the first one is a fundamental skills clinic. So when I say fundamental skills, that means it's a, it's a clinic, which could be an hour long, that is focusing on the fundamentals of the game, which is dribbling, passing, shooting, ball control, and all those, those technical skills that you need in order to become a better footballer. So that's the first a clinic that you could offer you could do it once a month and just focus on one of those areas of the game each month okay so when it comes to structuring or providing this as a service the best way to do it is that if you're going to run them every single month at least once a month it's better to set it up as a subscription so the parents are paying a monthly membership for your clinics Okay, but you have to be very organized and you have to make sure that there is a structure to your clinics. Okay, so that parents, when they register and when they sign up, they know, right, in January, my son's going to be, my son or daughter's going to be attending a dribbling clinic. In February, they're going to be attending a ball control clinic. In March, they're going to be attending a shooting clinic, right? So there's got to be a structure uh, in place for the subscription model to work with customers. That's the first one. The second one is position specific clinic. So focusing your clinics on a specific position on the field. So it might be a clinic only for uh, midfielders. It might be a clinic only for defenders. It might be a clinic only, of, only for strikers. Okay, so what a position specific on the field that you can help players with and that your clinics will benefit them and again if you're looking to set this up as a membership model okay you could call it defending clinics membership okay to, just just to be just to keep it very simple okay or defensive position specific clinic or midfielder specific clinic right so what I'm trying to get at is that for every different position, if you have clinics that you're running every month, okay, you could run either three to five per month on different specific areas of the game. Okay, So that's the second one. The third one is speed and agility. Right, So helping essentially players with their quickness. Okay, This is something that's really, really important in today's game especially when you look at some of the top leagues throughout the world, that the game is evolving that, uh, week on week, right? Players are getting faster, players are getting stronger. And if your customers or the players that you're working with aspire to get to that level, then they need to have that speed and agility training in order to get to that level. So that's another type of clinic that you can offer, right? Specific to, to, to football, but you're focusing more on the speed and agility uh, area 
that is required to become a better footballer, a soccer player. Okay, so that's the first one, the, the third one. Now the fourth one is goalkeeper clinics. Okay, something really big at the moment. I mean, they always have been, but a lot of kids who play outfield, okay, now are looking maybe to, to, to get some goalkeeper training as well because maybe on the team they play on they have a goal they have only one goalkeeper and maybe that goalkeeper doesn't attend every week so maybe that that player is like the backup goalkeeper okay also there might be a lot of goalkeepers in the area you're in or the club that you're at okay but goalkeeper clinics is another thing that you can offer as an extra so again setting this up as a monthly membership package where parents are paying monthly to attend your clinics is a fantastic way. Okay, you could just call it goalkeeper clinics membership, but making sure it's structured. And something I would recommend as well is that if you do uh, work on uh, with just goalkeepers for these clinics, make sure that the same way that you have an outfield uh, curriculum that you're following, you do the same with goalkeepers. Okay, so. In January, we work on ball handling. In February, we work on shot stopping. Okay, so different areas of goalkeeping. So that way, parents are getting a lot of value from these clinics. They're not just showing up, okay, and their kids are doing the same thing over and over again. Each clinic is focusing on a specific area of goalkeeping that kids will need help with. Okay. That's the fourth one. Now, the fifth one is something that I'm seeing at the moment and it's really trending. I've seen it a lot with the professional clubs. Okay, Professional clubs are bringing in these trainers to work with their players on this. And this is set piece clinics, right? So clinics that focus on set pieces. This could sound quite crazy, but this is a really important part of the game now. Okay, so it could be working on corners, it could be working on free kicks, it could be working on, uh, you could call uh, penalty kicks set pieces as well. I mean, I call them as well because it's a dead ball situation. So set piece clinics is something that's really trending among professional uh, football clubs. And it's something that they're bringing in specific trainers to work with their team. Uh, Jurgen Klopp, who is the current uh, head coach at Liverpool in the Premier League, this is something he talks about on a regular basis, that he, he, he brings in and he works with specific set-piece coaches to work on these fundamentals. Um, he's even got a coach that works on throw-ins. Okay, so throw-ins essentially could be, you could see that as a set piece as well. Okay, so it's an important part of the game where the ball is not in movement, it's stopped, but it's really important because your players need to know where to be positioned, how to react, how to be um, an option for that player, how to take free kicks, right? They have to learn how to take free kicks, what technique to use, where to place it. Right. These are all very little minor things that aren't really taken into account, but the professional clubs are seeing, do you know what, the little little pieces of, of data, these little things are making a massive difference for results. And essentially, you have to follow that model because if you're working with players, you want to get them the best results possible. Okay? Same way that Premier League clubs want to get results with the players, and they want to get they want to win games you have to do the same with your customers and your clients you want to get them the best results so they can play at the next level and progress okay so set piece uh, clinics is another one trending at the moment and really hot in the market and if you set this up really well okay you could definitely stand out from the crowd in your your city okay if you need more help a description of this video below you can book a call with me uh, there's a number of ways that I can help you with your business so if you need more help visit the description below to book a one-to-one 15-minute -one call this call is free all we do is we jump on zoom 
I connect with you, I ask some questions to see where you're at, and then I see if I can help you at moving forward. Okay, thank you for watching, and make sure if you haven't yet, subscribe to the channel to stay up to date with all the latest content.